first of all, just reflections on the weekend, really. How did you find another way to win? Your thoughts on Everton's penalty shout and the impact that had, and also your little tango with Richardson as well. Your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I thought this was a tough game. Dar we knew Derby was always going to be tough. Um, fighting for the lives, obviously we, we're fighting um, for the title. So yeah, it was going to be a, a, a big game, and um, yeah, there was a few tasty moments in there, of course. But that's what derbies are about, you know. And I think they made it very difficult for us first half. We couldn't find the spaces, we couldn't break them down. Um, but as the game went on, I think it opened up a bit more. Thankfully. Um, Got the goal, and then it was pretty comfortable. To be to be fair, they had a couple of half decent chances, um, but yeah, overall I think we deserved the win. And um, and the lads that come on, Luis and Dave, made a, a huge impact from the bench. As you say, fighting for so much still this season. Going back to 2016, that you were a new substitute in the final of the Europa League. Obviously, you and I, Emery, the manager of Sevilla at the time. Uh, what part do you think that night played in getting you? And Liverpool to the place where you are now. Um, well, actually, that night always sticks out to us, and I always remember it just because I can remember after the game going back to the hotel. Obviously, all the lads are disappointed, and you know you just want to sort of go back to your room, not see anybody, just you know, get your head down. Um, but the gaffer was a bit different to what you would expect. You know, you had everybody um, downstairs together in the bar area. Um, and just sort of had spent the night together because um, I felt as though he knew that this was the beginning and the start of something special to come. You know, as a player, it's very difficult to think that then when you've just lost the final. But I always felt he was very different to what I would have ever seen before, and that night always sticks out in my mind. To um, he he sort of knew what was what was coming in the next few years, and I feel as though he's yeah he's produced that and. Um, he's proven that that was the beginning of, of something special. Alberto Moreno was obviously a part of that as well. I don't suppose you've heard from him, but and I don't suppose you necessarily need to hear from him to know the test that you face given what we, we saw in the previous round against Bayern Munich. Yeah, Alberto was speak to him now and again, you know, not often, but um, now and again, definitely. And um, yeah, they're a very good team. A very good team. I think you can, you've seen that over the performances. Um, not only in the Champions League, some performances in the league, but the ones that stick out will probably be UV and Bayern, um, which just shows yeah, the quality that they have. Um, and we have a very experienced manager, and he's done a great job. So it'll be another really, really tough test, as any semi final in the Champions League would be. Um, and we need to be at 100% if we want to get anything from the game. Thank you, Vinny. Juliet, and then we'll go around the room. Yes, Anfield is always special. European night at Anfield is are always incredible. But yes, hopefully that that's the case again tomorrow night, which I'm sure it will be. Um, but we need to perform to the levels we're capable of to get the crowd on them levels as well. You know, it's a, it's a two-way thing. But yeah, the crowd I'm sure will be there, and um, and we need to make sure we're there as well, which I'm I'm sure we will be. And one of the things that Virgil van Dijk spoke about before the match um, against the people was how the things that are going on at this club should not be taken for granted. Can you elaborate a little bit more on that? With, with what he was sort of saying the things that are going on. Well, I can't, yeah, I can't speak for Virgil. Um, <laughs> but, but you have thoughts then of what, you know, what is happening right now? Yeah, it's very special. You know, I think what we've achieved so far as a team over the last few years, you know, last year was very difficult, but how we've reacted and come back from that, I think is very special in itself and how we've performed for the majority of this season um, is very special. Um, but, we're still a long way to go, you know, until the end of the season, the games that we've got left. I know how quickly football can change. Um and people will talk about all the things that we, we can win, but we know with a couple of bad games it can be, it can all be over. Um so it's about keeping focus. It's about focusing on the next game, the next challenge, no matter what competition, giving absolutely everything and then we'll see where we are come the end of the season.
Thanks, Juliet. Uh, Merseyside for one, then we'll go to Chris McKenna, I think Chris Bascom, um, and then I'll see how many more we've got, but BBC Merseyside first. Thanks, Jordan. Um, talking about the Derby, to go back to Derby, he came on, made an impact. What's it say about him as a player when he's not getting many minutes on the pitch, but he can come on as a substitute and do that? Yeah, I thought he was brilliant when he came on. I think his overall play, his goal, everything. Um, yeah, he, he does love a Derby game, um, but great lad. Great lad, you know. I'm sure he'd be frustrated in the in the amount of minutes that he's got. But when he has got minutes, he's made the most of them for sure, you know. And um, yeah, he's had. I think he's had one or two injuries as well, which hasn't helped. Um, but fantastic lad, great to have around um, in the dressing room, and obviously great to have around for the team as well. And he came on and produced the goods the other day, and hopefully, yeah, over the next few weeks, he can have another big impact going forward. Right, we'll try and rattle through these. Chris McKenna, then actually Andy Hunter, because they're next to each other, then we'll go further in the room. Chris? How, how much of that motivation is it to do something? Because you can do something this season that no other team has ever done, but you can go down there as, as legend forever. Is that motivating you every week when it is big game after big game? The motivation for us is just winning. You know, and that, again, that comes down to what I was just saying before. It's, not thinking too far ahead, you know, thinking we, need, we want to win this and we want to win that. It's winning every game. You know, every game that we go into, we want to win, no matter who it's against, no matter what competition it is. Um, and yeah, you've got to you've got to just focus on on that. You know, there's always going to be so many different challenges throughout the season um, and throughout games, but it's about keeping the focus. You know, and not getting carried away. And um, and giving absolutely everything. I know it's boring, but giving absolutely everything every time we set foot on the pitch. And to be fair, the lads have done that all season. And um, and that's what we need to carry on to do over the next few weeks. A big few weeks coming up. Um, tomorrow night is a massive, massive game, massive night at Anfield. So hopefully we can keep doing what we've been doing and perform to the levels we're capable of. And if we do that, then we give ourselves a good chance of winning games. Andy? Jordan, to your third Champions League. And final in five seasons. Are you still able to to take an, an occasion like this in your stride? Um, do you think that experience could be a, a telling factor over the two legs no matter what tomorrow? Thanks for resulted. I think over the years, over the past few years, we've gained experience as a, as a squad and as individu individuals. Yes, and I think you can help. That can help going forward for sure. You can use them experience in in the, in the games that we've played in before in in Europe. Um, but that doesn't mean um, it's going to be easy. You know, it's always special to play in semi-finals, especially in Champions League. It's always special to play at Anfield. That'll never change. So it's about yeah using that experience in the right way. Um, but everyone will be just as much as excited for tomorrow as they were for the first one. Um, and it's another big opportunity for us as a team to put a marker down in the first leg. Um, we need to perform. We need to perform in the second leg, and hopefully. Reach the final of the Champions League. Okay, Chris, what did you say? Yes, Chris Baskin. Yeah. Yeah, I think the lads have again. We keep improving as a squad, we keep learning and the biggest thing is the mentality for me, the desire to win has always been there, is always there, every single game the desire to win is, is massive and um, we know that if we yeah, give absolutely everything, no matter what competition, then we'll give ourselves a good chance of winning and the minute that you're not quite on it, then you're going to get punished, especially at this level, so um, yes, a big few weeks coming up. Um, but we need to yeah, use everybody, use the whole squad as we have been, keep that mentality and that focus um, that we've had um, because every game is a huge game from now to the end of the season. Okay. Dominic, and then we will take one from Carl to finish and we have to wrap it there. Dom? Talk about um, occasions. The manager said something before about um, keep players going through the lives. The manager go through the lives of playing, being, having the chance to play in the Champions League final, yeah. you know, potentially got. If all goes well, but it's, it's you know, you beat 
what I'm trying to say is, you beat Barcelona, you need a bit of massive performance against Barcelona to get into the last one. Are you going to need similar performance this time? 100%. 100%. You're going to, we invested obviously everything into the, the semi-final against Barcelona, both away and home, um, and we got a rewards in the end. But it, it wasn't easy. It was it was tough. We had to invest absolutely everything, and again that applies tomorrow and the away leg for sure. Um, very very difficult team, very good team, very good players, um, and then it's semi-final of the Champions League. You know they're going to be. In, a good moment, it's always going to be difficult. So yes, we need to be at our very, very best and that only gives us a chance of winning really. So yeah, we we'll do our job on the pitch and hopefully that's enough to get us into the final. Okay, thanks everyone. Final question from Carl Markham and then we'll wrap it up. Just going back to that Europa League final night in the hotel bar, you said you, you knew that you felt that Jürgen knew this would start something special. Did you share that belief then? Uh, could you see where what you could see at that point? I well, know because we just lost the final, <laughs> so it was more difficult. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It was more difficult for us as players to see past that night at that moment because you're so devastated that you've just lost the European final. Um, but that's why it stuck out because the manager was different. I felt as though he's me the mentality was different. Yes, he was disappointed, of course, but I felt as though he knew it was the start, and I think that confidence then transcends to the players. And yes, then the next day you're still disappointed, but as days go on, you sort of try and use that as motivation to be better um, and try to get them another European final, try to improve as a team, trying to be successful successful going forward. And um, and like I said, that, that day always sticks out for us, for sure. Um, and it's been pretty eventful since then, so hopefully you can carry on going in the right way. And tomorrow is another, another big night for, to take that step in the right direction. When did you feel it then? You know, obviously you were disappointed by the final, so you couldn't see it then. And as the days went past, you saw it, that subsided. But when was the moment when you thought, yeah, we're at the start of something special? I, I know what I'm just seeing, seeing the same. I felt as though there was something special as soon as the manager came in, to be honest. Um, well, I think everybody did. You know, the whole lift he gave the club, the team, the players, everybody really. You felt it then. But it's difficult when you lose a European final, you know, you're so focused on that night because you've been so close. Um, and I felt as though the manager had a very good way of um, seeing the bigger picture and, um, and using that experience to our benefit going forward. Thank you, everybody. And see most of you tomorrow, if not later, at the training session. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers.